We're at part five of the Metroid Prime plate. Shoulders! <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Look how fucking huge they are. Hut, 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 hut. You hut, know, hut. those <laughs> shoulders would not be useful because if you. They, they probably cut off your uh, your vision when you turn your head left and right. She can't turn her head left and right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> she You're is right. Batman. <laughs> Well, she could turn her head better than Batman, in, you know, pre-Nolan. But, uh... I think that the shoulders are meant as a cooling system. So, oh, that they're the gigantic-ass fans that everybody has for their for their computers. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But they do, I don't they get game how logic that makes they're able to survive in super cold areas in Fusion, though. What they they're do, also what heaters. They, what, you, what they do is they game logic away the... <laughs> <laughs> The louder and louder they get, the more maintenance they need. Hey, maybe the, Sam, maybe the fusion suit was a blessing in disguise. Maybe that's why Samus can't listen to music while on the job. It overheats the system. You know, rolling down these snowy hillsides like this, you really should just gather a whole bunch of snow and become a great big snowball. That would be awesome. Snowball, Snowman Samus. You just get bigger and bigger as you go, and then you just trample things. I would like to see that if there was a particularly large mountainside. Katamari Samus. Was those were those the Ice Street bats, John? Yeah, those are the Ice Street bats. I got them. Notice that they were the first things I scanned in this room. You're not forgetting. I'm not forgetting you this time, though. I hate that. And, and just uh, just to mention it again, if you're playing the version I'm playing, they go bye bye after certain events in the game. They fix that. Has that has to be a that has to be a glitch where they add it, it, where it is they a add new enemies after you beat a certain boss, and for some reason it it cancels out that one. Yeah, it is a glitch. A they glitch that I, thankfully they, they fixed in the Powell and trilogy version of the game. Yeah, purple doors. I can't go for those. <laughs> uh, I'm not ready for. I'm not worthy yet. So how do the Tozo get past those? They just pull out their proton packs? Well, I'd imagine their taser has different properties. <laughs> Why can't we just have one of those? Well, because the power cannon is just much cooler. Would you rather have a power cannon or a taser? Well, when I, well I assume the taser would be kept in like our pocket, and that wouldn't break when we... Samus doesn't our... have a pocket. Ta the taser was a prototype. Remember, we said the suit was experimental. They hadn't gotten the door opening ability just yet. Yeah. So wait, how did so did they just not have doors or did they have doors but couldn't go through them? No, they had doors. No, they had the technology to go through the doors, but it was all in this very pocket-sized taser. So what? they obviously wanted to up the ante for military purposes, so they made the power cannon. Boost ball. They just couldn't augment it with both with all, you know, both power beam and wave beam technology. Plasma was not even in their heads when they thought of it. And the ice beam was still in the early stages. Mm. Look, I'm trying here, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to techno babble your way out of it, pipe, turn on some Tony Hawk music. <laughs> it's time to become totally radical. Lights out, grill the radio. Yes, I was doing the. Uh, give me some. Give me some skateboard tricks. Uh, uh, just throw in a whole bunch of numbers divisible <laughs> by eighty, and then you're good. <laughs> Ollie, <laughs> Ollie, <Ollie-ollie> oxen free. <laughs> <laughs> All Metroid, right. Metroid Prime Two really loves the half pipe. Yeah, it does. Yes, it fucking does. It loves the half pipe like Half Life Two loves seesaws. <laughs> <laughs> Wee. <laughs> So with the boost ball, thank God, we are, our playthrough just became twice as fast. Whoosh. Is there speed? Is, well, actually, considering that you have the ability to get the boost ball by the time you get to Andrea Drifts normally, you wouldn't really need a speed run uh, sequence break to get that. Nope. No. I tried double jumping my way through one time, and its uh, I don't think it's possible. Either that or it's really fucking finicky. Wow, really that's flapping his after. wings really slowly. That, that that dragon casts a really huge shadow. I would assume that he's just gliding at that point. Yeah. It's like so. What is he just? Is it his? Is it his lunch yeah. break? And he's, he's having coasting. to leisurely glide over Pandera drifts. He's coasting. Yeah. I think I'm going to put the swimming pool there. <laughs> oh, good. There's already water there. I'm halfway done. <laughs> Space pirates. <laughs> 
Uh, sir, I think Samus is invading the spit. No, stop. Jacuzzi time. <laughs> oh god, now even the boost ball looks fugly. <laughs> well, I can't help that. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can just not use the fusion suit. <laughs> it's orange with purple streaks all over it. I actually like how the when you try out the boost ball, you, you kind of get a cell shaded look. Which stands out. Yeah. <laughs> Why does her mask have air tubes? To breathe. <laughs> to breathe? <laughs> yeah, but there's there's like it's like a diving suit. I think that in space they probably would have moved past that um, at some point. Venom? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Samus knows at this point if the air is toxic or not. Well, actually, uh, at, th at this point. Well, the Chozo... Well, hold on. Samus lived on the same planets that the Chozo did. And the Chozo would only inhabit a planet with air that they could breathe. So, by no that logic, no Samus, sh Samus should be able to breathe this air. No one ever said they breathed the same thing. The planet Samus was raised on could just conveniently have both. <laughs> what? Uh, Chozo are nitrogen-based? Uh, is that even possible? Evolution now it is. It was. Yeah. <laughs> now it is. <laughs> oh, the, the oh the these guys are shaped just like the thingies in Metroid One. Yes. Yeah, they chose those statues in 3D. <laughs> well, you, you see, what happens is that that they're they're actually when they're sitting like that, they're they're giving the the present to uh, Samus. But once you take it away, they've now become statue hobos asking for change. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the poor things. Unfortunately, since Samus has a bad habit of blowing up stuff with those on him, they meet a very sad end. Lava, don't care. <laughs> that was my, that was uh, mildly inconvenient. What? What didn't the various suit stop lava damage in one of the games? It stops. Uh, well, it stops specific type of lava damages for Metroid. Uh, because well, it's lava, the, then there's acid. <laughs> yeah, there's, you know, walking through acid. lava, since it's pretty much just rock, would be very, very hard. Not for Samus. Like, I don't think it's even possible to walk through lava. No, it's possible. But like well, you said, okay, ignoring it's, it's the heat. The, ignoring the heat and just talking about how thick it is, it's possible. It's just very Not hard that to do. Fast. Shouldn't if you had something that could that could survive the temperatures, then yeah, it's perfectly capable of moving through it. How long does it take for lava to cool off? Cool down? Depends. Uh, yeah, it probably depends depend on your environment. Depends on your environment. Depends on what it's actually made out of. We're going back to Talon. Hmm. If I, to, if I actually build a summer home here. Will I ever have to blow it up? This is a planet I'm visiting, after all. Uh, Galactic Federation has given my monthly statement, yep. Samus, you really have to stop blowing shit up. I mean, that, seriously, there is a limit. <laughs> I know we pay you to do this sort of thing, but you can only blow up Galactic Federation uh, approved planets. Deal? Sure, why not? Uh, I just want to prove. But if, but if I blow it up, then it won't cause any more problems. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. And before you know it, there aren't even any planets left in the Problem galaxy. Problem solved. Like, <laughs> Her like, gut ship is enough. We're living in That's bubbles. That's like taking a nuke ah. to a house to solve an ant infestation. Problem. Blowing up the planet. The problem and solution. I mean, the cause and solution to all of Samus's problems. Yes. And just for the record, a nuclear missile to an anthill will still fix the problem, mind you. <laughs> yeah, but it's overkill. <laughs> it will still yeah, fix overkill, the problem. Hey, those ants will never bother you ever again. <laughs> It'll still fix your problem. You just have a whole bunch of new problems now. <laughs> random thought, since it's been a while since I've just popped random Sonic references into commentaries like this. Uh, the Fusion Various suit reminds me of a special stage for some reason. What? Why? I think purple, it's because yellow, one of Sonic the... 2 special stages has the same awful color combo. The psychedelic the purple, colors. The yellow, the pukish, pukishness. 
I don't remember how long we had the fuse, the various suit in the fusion uh, commentary because you'd be freaking balls at that point. You have the you have the fusion suit for I think the shortest amount of time of any of the suits in the game. Wow. You really I, only have it for a I couple of so. areas. It's a good thing that they installed trackball tracks <laughs> in their volcano. <laughs> Who that does a, that? Is Kozo. a very solid fire. Fire doesn't have a physical form, so you can walk through it just fine if you can stand the pain. Meanwhile, Sam can, Samus can walk through the very thick lava un, <laughs> unfettered. <laughs> what is this? I don't even. I'm going to assume this is a combination of lava and an acid. Because you're right, you were right earlier. The various two should be protecting me from this, but eh, you can't win them all. Ice spreader's down there, but I can't get it. You don't have power bombs. <laughs> no. It's not like it's really. Well, if you get the ice spreader, you wouldn't even be able to use it because. Shotgun ice. <laughs> you don't have the ice beam. I think there Actually, is a way to hold on. Is it, pos it. is it possible to get a uh, missile combo power up before you get the beam that you need it for? Uh. Off top of my head. I don't think so. No. Because I, I, I'm thinking back. I think the way to get to the wave buster upgrade is blocked by a wave beam door. Well, that's one way to do it. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, and you, I guess you'd assume that they do the same thing for ice, uh, ice and. Uh, well, no, you need power. You need well, power. It, bombs yeah. To if get there was a way to, well, no, no, because technically, in order to get to the the room with the power bombs in it, you need the ice beam to get to it. So yeah, they 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 thought ahead. Indeed. Sort of. Well, uh, but Game shark that shit and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not doing that. That's what wiped my memory card in the first place. Let's see. When does the milk expire again? <laughs> <laughs> if it says sell by, does that mean I can't drink it after that time? <laughs> uh, to answer that question, for anyone who's honestly wondering, you have actually 10 days after the sell by date until it technically expires. But it's not legal to sell it after that date. Thank you, Louis. <laughs> Even though convenience stores sell it after that date all the time. That's not an 8 for 89. That's a 0 for 09. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> <A poo. laughs> Alright. I think we're going to be getting the wave beam now, though. Oh, wait, Why are there they just explained rock? their own floating platforms. They chose to install jetpacks to these. <laughs> these rocks for some reason. Take that, James Cameron. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Hey, it's justification. I take, like it. Take that, James Cameron. Okay, well, okay, you explain You explain why the rocks are floating. But then the next question is, why are they, why did they install jetpacks on the rocks? Take and that, James Cameron. And we're never going Cameron. to get an explanation for that, are we? No, Ted. We don't need an explanation as to why they did that. It's a take that for James Cameron, so there. Look, we've established earlier that the pirate here is just It's such an epic take that to James Cameron that it happened years and years before that movie even came out. <laughs> Indeed. Well, no, wait, wait, again, we don't know the time frame of this game. It could be an in universe take that to James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that James Cameron's movies, aside from Terminator 2, were lost to the universe by this point. <laughs> Terminator 2 was James Cameron? Yeah. Yes. Wow. I think Terminator 1, too. Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay, that one can stay, too, just because it builds up to Terminator 2. But no one remembers Terminator 1. I do. I remember Terminator 1. It's okay. Mm. It's okay. No, the first thing I think about is the synthesizer, but yeah, I still remember it. Mm. But anyway, look, we established earlier that the pioneers used to ride rocks for miles, but they unfortunately can't fly, so they chose us to say, don't worry, we got you there. And they installed jet boosters on them. Pioneer Airlines. Yeah, <laughs> damn right. <laughs> they don't charge baggage fees either. You can fly these babies for miles. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, you have a chance of uh, contracting dysentery every time you, jet, you fly. Why do the rocks fade back into existence after you explode them? Because Metroid. But the, 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 they, but they just sort of fade in. Why, Why? didn't you just reach and grab it before it went through? Because uh, Samus had to look at it uh, mysteriously. Because she heard something. Yeah, this is pathetic. This is a pathetically easy, quote unquote, boss fight. 
Well, it's, uh, at this point, we don't really have a whole lot of bosses. We just have enemies that are kind of stronger than what we can handle normally at this no, point. No, with the bosses coming up. I know that well, you, you start fighting the big versions of these guys uh, in the wilds after yeah. a few, er uh, like an area or two after you uh, this boss. I think, I think this game only does it a certain a total amount of two times. One is with the beetles, and then they throw the big beetle at you. And then this time where they throw the baby sheik off, and then the major sheik off on you. But the Shigoff in itself is uh, very predictable. If you always stand close to its mouth, it's always going to do one of two things. It's either going to do the Ice Breath, or it'll try and do the Chomp Attack. Either way, it's going to tire itself out regardless, and it makes for a very easy picking. So as long as you stay within the vicinity, you pretty much have it in a lock. Mm -hmm. This is very off-topic, but what sort of ecosystem would, uh, does Talon 4 have where its ice level can be literally less than a mile walk away from it, its, its completely normal temperature to the ruins area and five, and five and 50 feet below a magma corridor? Very tall elevators. Yeah. It has Jack and Daxter ecology. Because seriously, like, the entire um, size of this world is probably only... Uh, like 10 square miles. Well, d granted, we're only exploring like a few regions of Talon 4. We're just very lucky that we landed in the region where the Spice Pirates are in. <laughs> yeah, but still, it doesn't make much sense that they're... It's it's kind of like Canada and Hawaii being right next to each other. <laughs> it wouldn't mm. really work. You mean they're not? No, John. No, they're not. They move... But according I, I, to the United States map, Alaska's like right next to it. Uh, they, they do that because uh, Alaska and Hawaii are lonely and they think that they both need friends, so they put them close together. Actually, Alaska's very pissed at Hawaii because Hawaii slept with Alaska's sister, the British Columbia. It's a long story. <laughs> so let's not get too into it. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm picturing states on a map getting jiggy with it, and that's just Rule weird. 34 already it, happened. Italia. <laughs> what? <laughs> You mean they've actually drawn map porn before? Um, I would bet you any amount of money that they already have. Yeah, and I bet you it involves Florida, too. Well, of course oh. it involves Florida. Oh, well, Florida's a state slut. <laughs> no, I always thought Florida the was the penis of the United all States. Of those states. I always thought Florida was the penis of the United States, and California was the patunkatunk. <laughs> That's I, don't hear, I don't hear any objections. <laughs> if that's the case, that's the biggest penis in the whole entire fucking world. Several miles long. I don't know. Take that, that world. Long. Take that world. 